Cardiomyopathy is a disease of the heart muscle. It can be progressive. The heart muscle cells do not squeeze well. They can either become quite thick or thin or even sometimes very restrictive. And over time, the heart is not able to pump blood and oxygen and food to the rest of the body. In young children, we often see failure to thrive. In the older kids, sometimes it presents as asthma or as fatigue. In kids who used to be able to play on the field, sometimes have difficulty keeping up, shortness of breath, and occasionally sudden death. If there is heart disease or cardiomyopathy in your family, it's really important for family members to be screened. In patients that are diagnosed with dilated cardiomyopathy, there are several possible causes. Genetic causes, myocarditis or an infection in the heart, medication-induced cardiomyopathy, arrhythmogenic or abnormal heart rhythm driving the dilated cardiomyopathy. Currently, there's no cure for cardiomyopathy, but we have medications that can slow the progression of the disease. Once you have a diagnosis of cardiomyopathy, I do believe that it's very important to find the subspecialists within pediatric cardiology. In a place like Boston Children's Hospital, we see many patients who have this disease. It allows us to know the most recent drug trials and to be able to offer the most innovative care. You have child life, you have psychologists, you have advanced practice nursing, surgeons that can really come together and help a family navigate this major crisis in their life. One of the important things about cardiomyopathy is that there are many children and adults living with cardiomyopathy who are doing very well and who don't go on to heart transplant. That's always our first hope, is to be able to keep them well enough to live their lives without needing a transplant, and then use transplant as sort of a safety net if those initial medicines don't work or if they start to get sicker. We do have other forms of support to help uh, patients with really bad dilated cardiomyopathy called ventricular assist devices or VADs. A little machine goes inside the heart and helps pump blood and improve their function so that they can make it to a heart transplant. While most of the research is focused to date about treatment of the failing heart with medicines, today we're really starting to understand what the underpinnings of cardiomyopathy are. The idea that we could target a specific gene that was deficient and give that back to patients with cardiomyopathy with things like gene therapy is something that we're actively working to understand and be able to do.